Hey guys, it's your boy Josh, aka Dr. X, and I'm back with a brand new video of mine. And so, speaking of one thing, and that is called hacking accounts on Catholic Heroes, is it possible? What if your clanny suddenly tells you he's been hacked? What happened really? And let me clarify one thing your account is really, there's like a 1.0 point shitty ass, no person chance of your account getting hacked. The only way you can lose your account is if you forget your password and you didn't register your mail or if you shared it, that's the case. And whatever is happening, now on Epona there's so many cringy shits and really just listen to this pretty much, um, I will sum it up all for you. So Epona is <laughs> the server where accounts are mainly going to be shared with your in-game boyfriend or in-game girlfriend, that shit is cringy as fuck. Like, you know, you know, it could be a fat man sitting over there on the other screen and pretending to be a girl and you're tying all your sexual fantasies and shit over a fucking video game that shit is cringy as fuck, you're sick, you need to get help. If you cannot get gods in real life, you really do need help. Anyways, so, <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered this one guy called Skippy. You may be ending up like Skippy, don't end up like Skippy. You can't do it, nobody really is ugly, you can't do it, you can't change your life. Hit the gym, get some muscles, get some self-confidence and hit on everything you see. Alright, with that being said, okay, so, you know, there's some wrecking case on Epona right now where somebody was like, in, in the uh, Eponian chat, and they were like, and hey, somebody's account got hacked, and, uh, or he didn't have his account anymore, and I was like, what, what, what? What? I mean, out of all the shits getting hacked, I should be the first one to get hacked, because A, you know, I got a lot of cool stuff, second, uh, people know me, that's the thing, like, there's so many people that actually do know me, and I mean, somebody out of there should have some hacking skills and um, my account should pretty much already be gone, but it isn't, I'm still here, right? I'm, I'm still playing the game. That's the thing, like, I never ever shared my account with anybody. And that is, not even my own brother, what the fuck, that is how you keep your account secure. Don't share it with just anybody, just keep it for yourself. And one time mobile always does say that, anywhere possible, in the forums it's said a thousand times, don't share your account, keep your password and shit private. And that's what you really should do, you really should try to keep your shit private. Because if you don't, you're gonna be hacked. That's really the only way you get, can get hacked on Celtic Heroes. And this is not only my opinion, this should be anybody's opinion. And I do know that there's a lot of trusted account sharing. Believe me, if somebody offers a person more than a hundred dollars for an account, they're gonna sell your shit regardless. That's the thing, like, there's going to be so many people who are actually selling items for real money and that is crazy as fuck, like, who would spend more than a few dollars on the game, despite from what you buy in the Platinum Store with actual Apple iTunes cards, and that is what I think is, it's really, it's ridiculous that a simple MMO game for your iOS device can make people rich and can make people broke, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's crazy. And if you do have a family or a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they have birthday or they are actually wanting to go over with you and you do not have any money because of a video game, you're addicted, you need help. That's what I'm telling anybody, you need help. And <laughs> even though if you, let's say, I'm, I do know people on the corner, they have families, like real families, they're a, adult people, right? They do have family with kids, dogs, man, husband, wife, don't, no matter what, you know? And they still do play the game daily for more than one or two hours. They be on their screen the whole day and I'm thinking like, what, are you unemployed? How do you make your money? Are you a rich motherfucker? Then that's okay. But if not, then you should really put the effort in, find some work and help your family and stop playing the game all day because that's just what really, it makes me sick. I mean, it's just a way of thinking like, how can you waste your lifetime on a game? You guys, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I've also been in that position. I was bullied in school. I didn't have no friends. All I did was play Celtic Heroes all day. But then I changed my life drastically by doing one thing and that was hitting the gym and that's what I always tell people, hit the fucking gym. Because the gym, you know, it, it just changes you, it just makes you a better person in my opinion. Some people do say I've become quite a much of a douchebag, well then I have become quite much of a douchebag, but I'm proud of it because actually I do have a girlfriend, I do get my life sorted out, I do make money. Just for me, like people always tell me that I look good and um, that I do have like quite a good body for my age and it's kinda nice like hearing that shit, it's, it's nice, you know.
it's compliments and people like compliments and I'm just a noble guy so I do like compliments. And yeah look at me, I have so many fucking accounts, high level accounts on Celtic Heroes yet I still manage to figure my life out. And I mean I wonder how people cannot, like how people can fade in that, it's ridiculous. Same thing is for people that go to school or to college, like for me right now I'm going to the university, I study shit. And now I cannot spend hours on, on a day on spending on this game, it just it isn't compatible, right? It just doesn't work. And that's what I always do tell people, like <laughs> just figure your life out, get your shit done. Play time, you can play any time on the day once you did finish your actual shit. You know what I mean? Like your important shit. Then the rest of free time, I don't force people to go to the gym, I just tell them do what you want. Some of my buddies, like I got my buddy called Max. <laughs> Max the type of guy that he just he doesn't really go to the gym too much anymore. We used to go all day. But now he's like he's busy with some shit and he just pretends to be busy and stuff. I don't like that to be honest. But I don't force him. So it's his free time. Like if you wanna hang out to, at home and just chill at home the whole day playing PC games, that's your fault. It's your problem. You're addicted, you need help, not me. Alright, catch you guys in the next video. That was quite much of a different video and I did enjoy talking that way. And I did mean all the things serious. Just if you wonder. I'm really serious about that. Like, if you spend more than 3 hours a day on this game, you're addicted and you need help. With that being said, see you guys in the next video. It was awesome meeting you guys and see you guys in the next live stream, probably around next week or this Friday, don't know, not too sure. But I gotta do some, some stuff in real life, so real life always comes first. Free help!